All right, we've set up a tight parking situation over here. There's probably about two or three feet of clearance uh, between bumper to bumper on either side. So uh, we'll see how successful the uh, park assist is on the car with the help of this handy button here. Okay, it's found my spot. You can see I'm uh, I'm beside the Explorer right now. Okay, I let go of the steering wheel. All right, I can watch it do its thing here. In reverse. Holy. Alright, I'm part way through here. Look how close we are. This is tight. Rear view. I am still not touching the wheel. Here's my other hand. Okay, we're pretty close to the edge. Okay, I put it in drive. It is just corrected. I'm gonna roll, roll again, move a close further away. Still correcting the wheel as I inch ahead here. Still correcting itself as I put it in reverse and correct myself again. And park assist just told me it's complete. So, let's see how well we did here. It parked by itself. Let's see how well. So, perfectly in the middle. Let's see how close to the curb we got. That is, well, if my shoe is 13 inches, there you have it. What's that? Maybe six inches? Five inches from the curb? At the most? So... That's not bad. In fact, that's better than, I think, 90% of everybody in the world, including myself, can parallel park. And I fancy myself a good parallel parker. There you have it. Park assist. Pretty awesome.